We're learning new details about the man accused of attacking three women over the weekend within hours of appearing in court and being released. Quivon Ewing is facing three felony charges for attempted kidnapping and aggravated battery. Our Tara Molina is back on this story, digging into Ewing's lengthy background. And Tara, his victims want to know how he was back on the street. Joe, we're asking the state's attorneys and judges' offices that same question. Of course, victims really want answers here today because he just faced a judge over the weekend, and within just hours of that release, he attacked three women. Quavon Ewing has a long criminal history here in Chicago. The three felony charges he faces now aren't his first, leaving one of his three victims still uncomfortable showing her face or using her name, asking how he was out on the street and able to attack her Sunday. Was his other cases considered or his background? I, I mean, there, I just, there just has to be something that I don't understand. Within hours of appearing before a judge for failing to register as a sex offender, released this weekend with only his signature, police say Ewing attacked her and two others, all three attacks in less than an hour. She was first. He exposed himself, lunged at her, and pulled her in. She bit him twice and got away. Then an attempted kidnapping in the West Loop. Police say Ewing tried to pull a 45-year-old woman into the van in this iPhone video, punching her in the head, then taking off in that same van his first victim identified when people approached. Then the third attack. Ewing was seen on surveillance cameras urinating into a bottle, later pushing a 25-year-old woman who was walking into the Harrison Street CTA station, pouring the bottle of urine all over her, then telling her she deserved it. It sounds like he became increasingly more violent after my attack. His first victim telling us she was shocked to learn about his record and that he had just been released. I'm just really disappointed. I'm really kind of upset. Um, to know that this is someone that should not have been on the street, that we were aware that was dangerous. She said something needs to happen now. The community needs to be protected and women need to be better protected than this because this was clearly somebody that was dangerous. A spokesperson for the state's attorney's office told me they won't address our questions about his release or his repeat criminal offender history because this is an active case and an active investigation. But his bond was set at $500,000 today. He was ordered not to have any contact with his victims, the witnesses, or have any presence on the CTA. We'll continue to check in on this and bring you the very latest. For now, reporting live in the South Loop, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Tara.